Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. I'm Sherry from Cambridge English for Life. And I hope you came here to play some games with me today. Why don't you put your name and if you attend one of our CEFL centers, which center you attend in the comments so I can say hello to you. I'm so glad you came because I have three really fun games for us to pull and also your vocabulary skills. Do you know a lot of animals? If you know animals, that will really help you today because our first game is having you identify the animals, but they are way up close. Can you tell who they are when they're up close? If you can't, then we'll zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. But the name of the game is Zoomed In. We'll play that first, and then there will be two more games after that. So stay tuned, and I'll tell you about the other games when we're finished with Zoomed In. Are you ready? Are you ready? Say you're ready. Okay, here we go. Let's play. Like I said, name of the game is Zoomed In. So let's start with our very first picture. What is it a picture of? You tell me. Let's see. Oh, can you tell what that animal is? Hello, hello, Krish, Krish Trashini. Wow, that's a tough name for me to say. Do you know what that animal is? It zoomed so far in. Hello, Mima. Hello, Candy. Hello, Lily. What animal is that? Tell me what you think. All right, is it too hard to tell? Let's zoom in a little bit more. I know some of you think it's a zebra. Some of you think it's a panda. Let's see. Oh, when we go in a little bit closer. Now, what do you think that is? Still think it's a panda? Do you still think it's a zebra? Let's zoom in a little bit closer. Oh, it doesn't look like a zebra anymore, does it? Oh, Mima, do you still think it's a panda? Hi, Abby. Lots of you are looking at it and thinking that you might know what it is. Let's zoom in a little bit closer, yeah? Oh, oh do you know what it is now? Oh, looks like something quite familiar. It might be in a tree right outside your house, right? Let's see. You're right, that's totally a bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, we had some other guesses. Yes, many of you knew it was a bird. Some of you thought it was a special bird, a penguin. But now that we can see it, we know it's just a regular bird. All right, let's try another one. Easy or tough, let's see. Oh, it's zoomed so far in. What do you think that could be? Hmm, it has a little something on the side. What in the world could that be? Do you have a guess? Go ahead and put a guess in the comments. Hmm, let's go a little bit closer. Oh, wow, that looks really weird. But I see, hmm, what is that? Do you have an idea of what it is? Hmm, is it a frog? Is it a skunk? Oh, someone thought the last one was a skunk. That one's not a frog, but that's a really good guess. Ooh, a guess for a crocodile or a seal. Ooh, these are some good guesses. Maybe a peacock. I don't know. Let's see. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. It is. Oh, one of you thinks it's a fish. Oh, what kind of fish? Yes, Mima, you're right. That is a puffer fish. They're the coolest fish in the sea, I think, because when they get afraid, they puff up their whole body so that they can defend themselves and look like they are braver than they really are. What a cool puffer fish that is. All right, let's try another one. Are you ready? Ooh, what in the world could that be? 
what do you think? Hmm, what is that color? Um, and it looks like it might have gotten hurt one time. Is that a scar? Hmm, what could that be? Do you have a guess? Do you think that that's a lion? Oh, some of you do. Let's see, let's see. Let's zoom in a little bit further. Are you ready? Oh, now what do you think that that is? Hmm, a lot of you think it's a lion. Some of you think it's a bear. It really starts to look like a lion now, doesn't it? Okay, let's see. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. Are you sure it's a lion? What do you think now? Oh, I think someone, one of you had the right guess. I saw it go past really quickly. What do you think? What looks like that? You're right. You're right, you're right. It is a camel. Wow, look at that guy. He lives in the desert. Have you ever seen a real live camel? I've seen one, but only in the zoo. All right, let's look again. Hmm, what is that guy? We're zoomed in so close. It's not easy to tell now, is it? Oh, let's see, what could that be? What part of his body is that? Hmm, I'm not sure what that is. Should we get a little bit closer? Let's zoom in. Oh, I can see, hmm, looks like part of the face, but whose face is that? Is that a horse? No. Is that a monkey, a donkey, a cow? I've seen lots of guesses. Let's get a little bit closer. I think one of you is right. Oh, what's that down below? What's that part of his body? Now, do you know what it is? Oh, you're right, Anne. You're right, Albert. You're right, Lim Sien. Oh, your name went past so fast. That looks like a very adorable monkey. Do you have some of those in your backyard? Do they come and visit you at your home? Maybe they don't look just like that one, but I know we have lots of monkeys and I love to see them in the park. They always come around at dinner time looking for a free dinner in the rubbish bins, don't they? That's so funny. You know where I come from, the only place we ever see monkeys is in the zoo. I'm from the United States of America and we don't have monkeys in the wild, but I really wish we did. And that's why I'm glad I live in Malaysia. All right, are you ready? Let's look at another one. What is that? Can you make that face? What is that? What do you think? Hmm, that's a very strange look. Hmm, is that an animal that you've ever seen before? I'll bet that it is. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. Oh. Now, what do you think that is? Do you think you know what it is? What's your guess? What do you think that that could be? Hmm, is it a unicorn or a dog? Unicorn is my very favorite guess for sure. Maybe that is a unicorn. Let's see. Oh, lots of you think it might be a dog or even a flamingo or a dragon, wow. Oh, now I think we might know. How many of you know what it is now? Look at that little triangle nose and those little whiskers and that crazy tongue sticking out of his mouth. What do you think now? I'll bet you know what it is. And I'll bet some of you have this at home. I've seen a few more guesses for flamingo and I love that guess, but I'll bet by now you know it's not a flamingo or a dragon. What do you think that guy is with those pretty blue green eyes? Oh, somebody who says, 
Meow. I heard you say lion and tiger. Well, his family members are lions and tigers, but this is a regular house cat. And what a cute kitty he is. Do you have a kitty at home? This is one of the very few words that I know in Bahasa Malaysia. This is a little kuching, but we're here to study English. So it's a cat, right? Or a kitty cat. All right, let's try another one. Ready? Here we go. Oh, look at that. What do you think that that could be? Hmm. Excellent job, Andy. You said it first. Yes. All right. Do you have this one? Do you know what it could be? Hmm. That looks like it might be the tail of a, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, something with spots. He has stripes and spots on his tail. Check that guy out. Looked like a, it looked like it might have been a raccoon at first, yeah? Or even a tiger. But oh, I don't think so now. What do you think now? Even more spots. Spots and spots and spots. What kind of polka dot animal do you know of? Oh, someone says cheetah, someone says leopard, another says lion. I have a guess for skunk, but not with spots, I don't think. What do you think? Lots and lots of spots. But which one is he? He's a cheetah. It's really hard to tell the difference, isn't it, between the cheetah and the jaguar and the leopard. Let me show you a quick picture of the difference in their spots. See the cheetah spots? His are nice and round polka dots. Look at that, they're just perfect and very similarly spaced. But the leopards look more like a flower and so do the jaguars. But the jaguars have some little dots in between even. It's very hard to tell the difference between these three cats. But perhaps you can do some Googling afterwards and see what else is different about these members of the cat family. All right. Is it another cat coming next? Maybe. Let's take a look. Ooh, what in the world could that be? It's so zoomed in that it's a bit hard to see. Do you have an idea what that could be? Hmm, what in the world is that animal? I think I need to look a little bit closer. How about you? Let's zoom in. Oh, now do you have an idea? Could it be another cat? Do you think? What animal is that? An eagle? Ooh, that's a really good guess. We have a few guesses for eagles. It's some type of bird, you think? A falcon? Another excellent guess. Let's zoom in a little bit closer and I'll bet you'll know just what it is. Oh, it's still not very easy to tell. Is it an eagle? Many of you think so. Is it a vulture? It is some kind of bird, most definitely. What kind of bird is that? Can we see a little bit more of his face if we zoom in? Oh. Hoot, hoot, who knows who that is now? You're right, it's an owl. Very cool. They like to come out at night, right? Okay, let's try another one. What in the world? That's just one big blur. It's zoomed all the way in. Too hard to see at that level, I think. But do you have a guess? maybe based on the color. Let's zoom in and see if we know what that is. Oh, it is still not easy to tell. I know what it is, do you? I'm a bit of a cheater. I know exactly what all of these animals are because I made this game. What animal is that? Shall we zoom in a little bit closer? 
Someone thinks it's a dolphin. Someone thinks it's a shark. Let's see. Oh, I think you're on the right path. Which one do you think that is, dolphin or shark? Hmm, they look pretty similar, right? Could it even be a whale? Oh, but whales don't have that dorsal fin now, do they? Now let's see, let's get a little bit closer. Oh, now what do you think? There's a fin on top, but that looks like a bit of a flipper down below. Now, what do you think? I think there's another one right above it. Look, oh, it's a dolphin with her baby. Isn't that just so cute? I love dolphins. Have you ever swam with the dolphins? It's possible and it's lots of fun, but you have to be fast because they zoom right by. All right, let's try one more, yeah? What is that? What part of the body is that? Is that an eyeball I see? Or is that fur? What is that? It's much too difficult to see. Let's zoom in. Oh, that doesn't help much at all, does it? But do you have a guess? Do you think you know what that could be? Hmm, is it, is it a dog? Is it a monkey? Is it a tortoise? Hmm, let's see. Let's go in a little bit closer. Oh, now what do you think that is? Can you guess? Do you think? Still think it's a turtle? Mm, I don't think so anymore. What do you think that that might be? That definitely looks like fur, but what in the world? Is it a kangaroo? A crocodile? Oh, it looks like it could be a kangaroo, you think? Let's see. Let's go a little bit closer. Oh, now you can see his feet and a little bit of his face. And what is that he has in his hand? Hmm, squirrel. Yes, Angie, you've got it right again. Excellent job. That is a squirrel, a squirrel with a nut. That's their favorite thing to eat, isn't it? Thank you so much for playing Zoomed In. You did an excellent job. Remember, I said we're not done with just one game. I want to play lots of games. Let's see what's in store. Zoomed In? Check. We've played that game already, but stay tuned for even more games. The next game that we are about to play is called Four Picks, One Word. So you will get a screen that looks like this and there's something those four pictures have in common. And you have to figure out what is it that they have in common. You'll see the number of boxes and you'll also see the right letters to fill in. This one is already finished, so it's easy to tell because it's already there. But it will be a little bit challenging, I think. You'll have to look at them and think, hmm, I thought that one was beach. But this word had six letters, and beach has B-E-A-C-H, only five. Plus, the letter B wasn't even there on the board to choose from. Now, the way that this game will go is that you will just type your answer right into the chat box like you are right now, and the game will know automatically. You won't see me. The game will play itself automatic and live. So the first one to get the answer correct and spelled correctly will be the winner of each round. Then I said not one game, not two games. I said we'd have three games. So our next game, I'm saving the best for last. This game will begin on our page at Flock and it is finding animals. Look closely at that face. 
do you notice that that face is made up completely of animals? So there are actually 25 animals in that picture. And it will be your job to look at it and find all of the animals. As you find one, type your answer into the comments box and you can see that the first person who answers, their name will go right there on the leaderboard. Now look there, it says tortoise. I might have used the word turtle, but if I type turtle into the comments box, it won't know that that was the word. It won't know that I know what it is. I have to have the exact word. So where is the tortoise in that picture? I don't see, oh, I see him. Do you see him? Somewhere right around here. And then you'll see in our example here, there's one more word there, primate. What's a primate? Do you know what that is? That is the scientific word for the group of all of the animals that include monkeys. Do you see the monkey in that picture? Hmm, can we see him yet? Maybe we'll have to wait until that game comes live on our page at four o'clock. So you just stay tuned. We will have these two games starting at 3.30 and starting at four o'clock. They'll be right here on our page in a separate Facebook Live. All the best to all of you. I hope you do fantastic.